All right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And um, if it's feeling like deja vu for you sometimes, you go through these reviews, man. Yes, we tasted these same wines a year ago today, man. Just a little eerie. I said, man, Nick, uh, Nick Kuchenmeister, Kuchenmeister is Ben Glaser's partner in this project. Actually, they bought the label four years ago, Heartland. We've had some of the old wines in the store in the past. This Spice Trader Syrah, wow, a really great little value. 1575, man, 5050 Cabernet and Shiraz. They've got some of the oldest Cabernet in the world in Langhorn Creek. I think it goes back like 139 years old, These some of these vines. And uh, that's one of the things it takes to make great wines. And I think the Cab, in this case, is as good, not better than the Shiraz, which usually we go to Australia for Shiraz, but they make some damn good Cabernet there. This wine on the nose, it got some nice black olive to the dark currant, cassis berry fruit, tobacco spice, notes of eucalyptus and minty, minty notes. And uh, wonderful fruit in this wine. Even though this is a cooler region, you still get a lot of nice ripe fruit here, dark berry fruit, and a nice zesty spice on the finish. Uh, kind of clever labeling. It has all of the herbs and spices that are in the wine on the label. Uh, excellent juice, though, at 1575. The Cabernet Longhorn Creek, uh, another one of the entry-level wines. This wine seemed to go up a little bit in price this year. I thought it was $16.50 last year. $19.25, still a good value. And uh, they got 500 acres in Langhorn Creek, but they also buy from some other people. They've got some good friends. They've got great vineyards. 20% new oak. 12 months of aging, mostly French. And uh, you get a little bit of that, that cool region. Gives you some nice herbs and spice in there. Rosemary, thyme, lavender, black olive, tapenade. And uh, really nice fruit in this wine as well. Delicious plum and cherry fruit. All that herbs and spice from the nose showing through on the finish as well as a firm hand of acidity. Excellent Cabernet Sauvignon at that price. The Shiraz also, 1925. And uh, this wine's got more of a blackberry jam-like fruit. Violet floral notes some dark spices some eucalyptus some cocoa really nice complexity here black licorice smooth and silky on the tongue but really nice freshness in all these wines and they got ripe fruit as well uh, really lovely balance and uh, excellent bottle of shiraz for under 20 bucks the cabernet director's cut they use all new oak for these wines, 75-plus-year-old vines, and you really get more power even in the nose here. Some vanilla spice and an outstanding vintage 2012 after a very horrible year in 2011. And uh, this wine has got, just like I said, a ton of rich uh, cassis, black raspberry and currant berry fruit, black olive tapenade, cigar box spice. A wonderful intensity uh, in this wine, even more intense in the entry levels, and that sweet fruit and a lot of that spice and nuance from the nose showing through on the finish uh, as well as a firm hand of acidity most excellent juice as well as the Shiraz director's cut this is the 15th vintage of Shiraz the first vintage they made of the Cabernet under the relaunch there and uh, wow China voted this Shiraz the best Shiraz uh, in one of their big tastings in 2000 and uh, um, the 2010 vintage rather and uh, this wine's under screw cap hey Chateau Margaux has been experimenting with screw cap since the 60s Penfolds since the 70s these guys have got it right here and uh, what what does a screw cap mean more big jammy fruit the longer in the wine's life and this wine is big and jammy lots of dark spices though floral highlights with a firm hand of acidity smooth and velvety texture but lovely balance this wine's pushing 15 percent alcohol Alcohol, but man, you would never know. It's still very fresh. Most excellent juice. And that's what we had to drink with our friends from Heartland Estate in the Langhorn Creek region. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.